I've been wanting to do some work with accelerometers, so I ended up picking up a uh, MM88452Q from a, a company called SparkFun that sells digital components. And it's that little guy down there. Not the whole chip, just that little tiny one that's smaller, uh, little black IC chip in the center there. The rest is just to kind of get it, you know, accessible. But that's how small they are. That's what's in the Wii remote that makes it work. And uh, as you can see, it's very small. And I had to run the wires to the Arduino kit to talk to it. And um, essentially what I've done is I hooked up the XYZ plane to uh, generate sounds on X. So when it shifts, it changes the radians or the degrees, whichever you prefer. Um, it'll actually um, play a tone based on where it's at. So let's, uh, let's give it a go. Now that's not the wires moving that, that's causing that, that's the chip's uh, positioning and uh, it's capable of understanding G's, so you know, different levels of gravity and such. Um, that's what it's working off of, so... Kind of sounds like when they talk on Mike Tyson's Punch-Out on Nintendo, <laughs> if you remember that one, but, uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I can use that in lots of different projects and uh, it's fun to work with. Um, what's really neat is, let me pull it up here, we have a serial monitor so we can see it talking to the uh, on chip. Those are the, uh, the actual positions, the offsets in uh, relation to the sound. You'll see X is what we're, we're tracking. That's pretty cool. Uh, definitely a different kind of project. I'm interested in co taking that chip and connecting it to my cube <clears throat> such that it reacts to rotations once I get it into an enclosure. Maybe uh, you could imagine, you know, like a glass full of liquid, it shifts with gravity. I could actually code that with the lights, have it emulate um, that kind of effect, which, which is pretty cool. Um, but in any event, yeah, so that was a success on a stormy night. Something to do at uh, 5.15 a.m. Uh, probably shouldn't have had that Red Bull, but next up I'm going to be working with uh, maybe some RF, you know, uh, scramblers.